Hey everyone, it is me, Samantha, and I am back with another movie review. Um, I had to watch this movie in college, um, because one of my minors is Spanish. I had watched this movie years ago. It is seriously one of the best movies I have ever seen. I recommend it for men and women. And it is called All About My Mother. And in Espanol, it is called Todo Sombre Mi Madre. Now, um, when I do these movie reviews, I'm not good at pronouncing names in Spanish, but I can speak Spanish, which is weird. So, first we're going to start with the review from Rotten Tomatoes, which I usually always do. Okay, and the movie, All About My Mother, Todo Sombre Mi Madre. Okay, on the tomato meter, it got 98%. And the audience that liked it was 92%. That's the highest I have ever seen on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, seriously, it is. So, we're going to get into it. And I'm going to, I don't want to give too much away about the movie because a lot of my uh, movie reviews are spoilers. But I do leave a lot of stuff out. I promise you, I do. So, we're going to read a little bit about what Rotten Tomatoes has to say about the plot and everything about the movie. Okay. Uh, basically, it's a story of a woman in a circle of her friends who find themselves suffering from a variety of emotional uh, crises, problems, like shit hits the fan big time. Um, Manuela, she's a single mother who raised her son, Esteban, into adulthood, and on her own, she has become emotionally dependent on him. And one night, uh, you know, they seem to live a rather relatively normal life, except for the fact that, well, I, it, it is normal, but she is a single mother. She takes Emmanuel to see a streetcar named Desire. It's a production of it, you know, like the, the, the theatrical production of that play, book by Tennessee Williams, which I absolutely love. And, um, Esteban, he is struck and killed by a passing motorist because he dashes into the street to get an autograph from Huma Rojo, who played Blanche in the play. Emotionally devastated, Manuela relocates to Barcelona in hopes of finding her, uh, her ex-husband, who is also Esteban's biological father. And I'm not going to say what he is working as when she does find him because that's a big part of the movie and I don't want to give that away uh and throughout her living status in Barcelona Manuel becomes reacquainted with uh an old friend La Agrada a grotto. I'm sorry. Who is a transsexual and is she's also introduced to Sister Rosa, um, who was played by a very young Penelope Cruz, who is a nun who is pregnant. She's a good hearted nun. Jen Penelope Cruz does a really good job in the movie. Um, she's good hearted and um she has to contend with her considerably more cynical mother. But while looking for work, Manuela becomes acquainted with, oh, uh, I don't know if I should give this away. She becomes acquainted with, uh, well, I'm just going to tell you. She becomes acquainted with, um, Huma Rojo. Okay. Y'all know what I just said about what happened with her son and shit, so. Okay, so she becomes reacquainted with her. And Huma, on the other hand, has troubles of her own, most involving her drug-addicted significant other, Nina. Yes. Let's see what else they say here. I don't want to give anything. 
Okay, I will say that uh, Total Sunburn Mi Madre, All About My Mother, it did receive a highly anticipated theatrical run in Spain before winning the Best Director Award at the 99 Cannes Film Festival in 2000. And uh, it would also receive the Academy Award for the Best Foreign Language Film. It came out in theaters April 16th. 1999 worldwide on DVD October 26, 2006. It's a Sony Pictures classic. It's rated R, rated R. It's one hour and 41 minutes. And it's a drama and a comedy. Now, a few things that people that have seen the movie off of Rotten Tomatoes, what they had to say about Total Song Burby Madre is that um, it's an emotionally satisfying and brilliantly played take on the ups and mostly downs of a group of less than typical female friends. And it's an over-the-top collection of outrageous characters and improbable circumstances that all manage to interconnect, forming a film of incredible power, humor, and finally beauty. It's bowdy, sexual, funny, highly emotional, and full of love. And each time the movie seems to be on a seems to be on a head-on collision with melodrama, it jumps the track and veers off towards comedy. I thought there was oh yeah, one more that I found that I liked. It's that it's nearly impossible not to be swept up in Pedro, Pedro Alamodovera's melodrama Total Sombre Mi Madre. It is a very affecting story that is clearly very personal and told with great care. The performances, especially from Cecilia Roth, who plays Huma Rojo, are lovely and cinematographic. Okay, that makes no sense because you cut off your own damn sentence. Okay, sorry about that. But that was from Rotten Tomatoes. That's what they had to say about the movie. Um, film critic, um, pretty much said, I think, the same things, um, you know, it just gives the full cast, the director, screenwriter, all that stuff. And it was written by, um, what I don't like about Film Critic is this was written just by some, like, I don't know who. It was reviewed by James Brondage on December 16th, 1999. It's kind of his take on it. But, um, what he did put in here, which did really remind me about the movie is that the characters do not speak English they speak Spanish um but there are um subtitles so I liked how he worded that um to fans of the surreal who normally can handle subtitles Toto Sombre Mi Madre will be quite a treat it is a film that is able to easily provide interesting imagery, a joint effort of the great directing on behalf of Pedro Aldemarvar and the haunting photography of Alfonso Bieto. It has incredible dialogue and at the same time makes you ponder over it. And with that said about the dialogue, after I read that part, I thought it would be a good idea since it's a drama comedy, it would be a good idea to get some of the most memorable movie quotes for you all. So you kind of get a feel for how the language is. And remember, it's in subtitles. They're speaking Spanish. Nothing wrong with that. Um, Manuela. I don't know. Like, these are just random quotes. I don't know. I couldn't tell you what part of the movies they're in. But at one point she says, I'm not a whore. I've been fucked around a lot. But I'm not a whore. And she also says, you are not a human being. You are an epidemic. And 
Then, Manuel also says, how could anyone act so macho with a pair of tits like that? And then Manuela. This is like a little, like, conversation. Manuela, do you have any alcohol? A grotto. No, I drank it all last night. Manuela, I meant for disinfecting. Okay, and our grotto, she says, just don't disappear again. I like to say goodbye to the people I love, even if it's only to cry my eyes out, bitch. And let's see. Okay, those are just some of the quotes that I liked. Um, I don't think there's a, I don't know why there's a second page because I thought they ended because it's, let's see. Yeah, that was pretty much the quote on it. Um, if you're into foreign films, I highly, highly recommend it. Here it is. I, at the time, when I was taking the class, I could only find it on VHS, but Evidently, now it is on DVD. Um, I will say, it it really is not, the storyline is not like a chick flick. Even though the cast is entirely female. Um, there is, Esteban is only in it for like, I don't know, not even 10 minutes before he gets hit by a car or whatever the hell happens to him, how he dies. But how the characters reconnect and what they're going through and their life changes and just how a different group of women come together and go on this journey together and are trying to be there for each other and they're trying to figure out life together so I would recommend this movie to just about anyone um I guess if your kids R, and this is because it's rated R. Since it is in Spanish, I would say you can watch it in front of your kids because unless they speak Spanish, um, you can probably watch it in front of your kids because it is subtitles. Um, just be careful that they do not know how to read that well and that they don't speak Spanish. But this is, out of all the movie reviews I've done thus far, my favorite movie and. The back of it was um, written by Rolling Stone. Um, I pretty much described uh, what it was about to. I don't want to give too much away, but um, what Rolling Stone had to say is that it's an absolute stunner. A funny, touching, and vital film marks a career peak for Aldemovar. I guess some of his early work wasn't as good. I believe I had seen one of his other movies. I'm not sure what movie it was. We had watched it in the class and I didn't, I don't remember the title of it and I wish I did because it was pretty good. But, um, I guess this was, um, a really big success for him and I highly suggest it. I doubt you'll find it on Netflix. You might, um or on demand or Xfinity or in Redbox or anything you might have to get it I believe I got mine off of Amazon so try Amazon or eBay I hope somebody somebody watches this movie and loves it and appreciates it as much as I do and like I said with the whole um a streetcar named desire um if you read that book and you're familiar with it you will see how it ties in with this movie and um the book, A Streetcar Named Desire, was written by Tennessee Williams. It's written in play form. That's amazing as well. So, um, if you have extra time, read A Streetcar Named Desire. It's seriously, it's not even like 50 pages because it's written in play form. And, um, I believe Vivian Lee is in A Streetcar Named Desire. I'm pretty sure. And so is Marlo Brando, which I'd lick his skin off any day. Even though he's like dead or something probably. But anyways, try to read the book first. Then see this so you can understand the tie-in between the two and that is another movie review like I said before you have any movie reviews you would like me to do just let me know be more than happy to do it leave questions comments anything you want about Total Sombre Mi Madre and I'll be happy to answer and I hope you all have a good night 
and I will be seeing you again in some type of video what it's going to be. I don't know. With me, you never know. It's always a surprise. So I will see you guys again, hopefully soon, because usually I post all the time. So I will see you again with something. And again, as always, thank you for watching. And if you see this on Facebook, follow me on YouTube at Samantha Dancer. Um, that's about it. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you again soon.